Today I'm going to show you four extremely useful Android settings that you should know about. One setting is brand new, one setting experimental but kind of amazing, one is well hidden for some strange reason and the last one is an oldie but a goodie. So if you have an Android phone, this should be on your must know list. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Segev, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. Okay, without starting the whole Apple versus Android discussion, let's take a moment to all be wowed by the fact that Apple has gotten the new innovative widgets. Congratulations. But I will say there's one feature that Apple users have that Android users really wanted, and that is AirDrop. The ability to quickly send information from your phone to those that are around you, that is pretty darn awesome. And Android users, we've been missing out on that. Until now. We finally got nearby share, and now you too can send unsolicited pictures to people around you. Let me show you how to set that up. Right, enabling nearby share is pretty simple. Go into settings, search for nearby, and the option will come up, nearby share. Click on that, and then go down when it pops up, and then there's nearby share. And all you have to do is simply enable that, and then set up a whole bunch of options, like who can see your phone or not. Here is how it works. Let's just say this is the URL I want to share. I click on the three little dots. I choose the option share. And now a new option will pop up called nearby. Click on that. And once you do that, it says, hey, you got to switch on your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your location, enable that. And then it starts looking for phones around you. When it finds a phone like my Note 20 Ultra, I simply tap on it. And then I shared this URL successfully with that device. <laughs> Okay, speaking of sharing, let's talk about the experimental clipboard. We all know copy and paste, but did you know that you can copy something from inside your Chrome browser on your desktop and paste it onto your phone? Well, this is really super useful and whilst it's officially experimental, it works great and just takes a couple of seconds to set it up. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay, let's start off by opening up the browser on your computer. And in the URL bar, you're going to type there Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now, when that comes up in the search facility, type there clipboard. There should be three of them that pop up. And what you're going to do is enable all three. So change it from default to enable, 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 and relaunch the browser. That is step one. Now we're going to do the same thing on the phone. So open up Chrome on your phone, go to the URL and type there Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And when that comes up in the search facility, do exactly the same. We're going to type in there clipboard. And again, three options should be coming up there. And when they do, what you want to do is enable all three of those facilities. So enable, 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 and then relaunch the browser. Right. Now that that's all set up, let me show you how to use it. So. Let's just say we have a web page and we want to take some information and send it over to our phone. Keep an eye on the top side of the phone there. I'm going to right click, copy to device, and there's my 4XL. And there we go. Immediately it appears on my phone. And all I have to do is do how you normally handle a copy and paste situation. Long hold, click on paste, and there it is. As you know, our phones are packed with sensors. It's these sensors that allow your phone to respond to the environment, motion, orientation, position of the phone. So when you get near your phone and it wakes up, that's your proximity sensor. When your phone brightness picks up because it's not enough light in the room, that's your light sensor. You play a game in VR, that's your orientation and gyroscope sensors. These are great to have, but just like everything else on Android, we are able to disable those or enable those as a touch of a button. Unfortunately, it's pretty well hidden, but I'm going to show you how to unhide it. Okay, so first step is we're going to enable the developer mode. Go into settings, scroll all the way down until you see about phone. Click on that. Scroll all the way down until you see build number. Click on that multiple times, and then it will unlock the developer mode. Now, what you have to do is go into System, then click on Advanced, scroll down until you see Developer Options, and then scroll down until you're going to see the Quick Setting Developer Tiles. There you'll see a sensor called Sensor Off. 
let's enable that and now once you've done that under your quick settings you'll see a new icon there is that first icon there click on that and that it disables all the sensors click on it again it re-enables it so I have an app called the sensor box and that shows me all the sensors that are available on my phone this is free you can download it from the Google Play Store so this is the accelerometer as I move my phone around you can see the ball is clearly bouncing around let's try the light sensor and there's the light tells you how much light is available to the phone as I move my hand to and from the light sensor and then let's do another one the gyroscope for example as I move my phone around you can see it's spinning this box so the sensors are clearly working now let's disable all the sensors and let's run sensor box again open up the accelerometer and the ball does not move so let's disable that let's look at the gyroscope sensor again it's steady nothing is happening so the sensors are disabled and another cool sensor that's disabled is actually the microphone so here i'm trying to record audio you can see nothing's coming through i'm going to re-enable it and resume it and start talking and there we go you can see that the mic is now working so a cool little utility to be able to have at your fingertips there are a thousand of android camera videos out there but there is one facility in the camera that isn't really spoken about for some reason and it's pretty darn useful and that is the Google Lens. Lens allows your camera to use its built-in AI technology to extract information from the image and really give you effective and efficient use of that information. So let me show you how to set yours up. So open up your camera, click on more, and then click on lens. Now, whatever you look at in the real world, it's gonna to try to disseminate information from it. So here's a pamphlet, and already I can see that it's picked up the telephone number, for example. If I simply tap on the number, I'm able to dial it straight away. I don't have to type this into my phone manually. Any of the text, I can copy and paste that, use that in my documents. Now, it does a lot more. So let me show you some other cool things. So let's turn this thing over. Let's just say there's a URL. So there's a URL at the bottom there. As it sees the URL, it translates it into a website. So click on it, and then you can open up the website. Now, I love the translate feature. You can go into this and say, hey, auto detect the language and translate it into English or whatever it may be. Let's do into Afrikaans, just so you can see that it does change. So from South Africa, I can kind of speak that. So there we go. You can see in real time, whatever I'm pointing at, it automatically starts to translate it. And it does a lot more like shopping. It will pick up the ingredients of recipes. It will pick up the calorie counts, etc., etc. Go play with Lens. It's great. Oh, whilst we add it, because you're going to be using it so much, when you open up Lens, here's a cool little trick. Three little dots at the top. Click on Add to Home Screen. And then click on Add Automatically. Now, on your home screen, there's a little icon that will be there. There it is. There's Google Lens. Whenever you want to do something in Lens, simply click on it and it goes straight away into the Google Lens mode. You'll use it a lot. This is a good little hack. Hope you like these Android tips and tricks. Check out more videos down here. If you're new here, hit the head below to subscribe. You're welcome. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in these videos. Let's go.